In this example, we're going to use uh, an if statement to decide what inputs we're going to take in. Uh, so we're going to calculate the area of either a rectangle or a square. And based on what the user chooses, we'll pick uh, a different route. So first thing we need is an input to say which one it is. So we'll take in shape. And we'll have our user prompt say enter a 1, a number 1 for a square, or 2 for a rectangle. Okay, and then we'll need to decide what the user actually picks. So we'll have an if statement. And our condition would be if shape equals 1, then we have a square so we'll ask for the length of one side okay we'll call that length we only really need one side since all the sides of the square is the same and our prompt will be enter the length of one side of the square And then we'll have our calculation for our assignment for area would be length times length, or we could write it as length. And in Visual Logic, we'll use the caret symbol to represent raised to the power. Okay, if the shape is not one, we'll assume it must be a rectangle. So we'll need the inputs for that. So we'll again input length with the prompt of enter the length of the rectangle for our rectangle we'll also need the width so we'll say input the width with an appropriate prompt. okay we also need our assignment we need to calculate the area in this case, our formula for area would be length times width for a rectangle. And so we'll put that in. Okay, now notice it doesn't matter whether we picked a, which shape we picked. If we picked a uh, square or rectangle, we're still using that same variable area to calculate the area. Uh, I'm doing this on purpose so that in my output statement, my final output statement, I can actually just say output uh, the area. And, and that output statement will uh, work for either case. Okay. And so there's most of my flowchart. Let's give this a test for square. Let's say length uh, or side width of, of four. Okay. Okay, I've run across an unusual visual logic error. It seems that I used a reserved word within the language. In other words, you can't use a variable name that's already reserved for some other use. So length, evidently, is reserved already. So we'll need to go through each one and change our variable name to something else. In this case, I'll just say length2. So area occurrence of length we need to change to a valid variable name of length 2 so it actually works and we'll just go into each one real quickly and make that adjustment okay let's try that again we'll run it again say for a, uh, one for a square and in, enter the length, we'll say 4, and so the area of that would be 16. Uh, if we run it again, and we pick a shape of 2, uh, we can pick a length of 3, a width of 4, and we should get the area of 12. So works either way, whether we go to the right side here, true, we get uh, square, or we do it for the rectangle.